teacher. So all of you take out your textbook, page number 29. I will read and explain the lesson first, then we will mark the keywords. Okay? So all of you listen carefully. Whenever Uncle Roger decided to do a job at home, there was a lot of commotion. So whenever Uncle Roger tried to do a job at home, there would be a lot of commotion. One day, a picture came from the frame maker. It was in the dining room waiting to be put up on one of the walls. Aunt Maria asked, who is going to hang the picture? So, one day, a picture came from a frame maker and it was lying on the dining room to hang up on the wall. And Aunt Maria asked, who is going to hang the picture? Oh, you leave that to me, said Uncle Porger. None of you should worry about that. I will put it up. Uncle Porter said, you don't need to worry about that. You just leave that to me. I will do that. And then he began. He sent the girl out for six penny worth of nails. And then one of the boys after her to tell her what size to get. So he started. What he did first, he sent a girl out for six penny worth of nails. He just sent a girl out to buy six penny worth of nails. Then after that, he sent one of the boys just to tell her what size to get. He did it uniform in the first itself. Now, will you go and get my hammer? He shouted. Tom, you bring me the rule. I shall want the step ladder and I better have the kitchen stool too. Uncle Porter then started. Okay, you will go and get my hammer. He shouted. Then he informed Tom to bring the rule and he wanted step ladder and kitchen stool also. He started ordering one by one what are all the things he needed. Tim, you run round to Mr. Gobel's and borrow his spirit level. Don't you go Maria because I shall want somebody to hold the light. And again he said, he said to Tim to go to Mr. Gobel's house and borrow spirit level. It's a kind of tool. And he asked Maria to stay back because he wanted somebody to hold the light. When the girl comes back, she must go out again for a bit of picture code. And Tom, where is Tom? Tom, you come here. I shall want you to hand me up the picture. And he said, when he sent already a girl out to get the six penny worth of nails, right? When she comes back again, she has to go out to get a bit of picture code. The one uh, like a thread to hang a picture on the wall. Okay, so first itself, he couldn't do that. And he asked Tom to come because uh, he wanted to hand that picture to him. Okay? Then he lifted the picture and dropped it. It came out of the frame. He tried to save the glass and cut himself. So what happened? He lifted the picture given by Tom and he dropped it. It came out of the frame. So he tried to save the glass and he cut his See what happened. Then he hopped round the room looking for his handkerchief. So he cut his finger, right? So he just roamed into the room looking for his handkerchief. He couldn't find it because it was in the pocket of the coat he had taken off. He couldn't find his handkerchief because it was inside the pocket of the coat he had taken off already. But the problem was he he did not know where he had put the coat. All the house had to stop looking for his tools and start looking for his coat. While they were doing so, he bullied them. So he was not able to find his handkerchief because it was in the pocket of his coat. It was taken off and now he don't know where he had kept his coat. Okay. So all the people in the house stopped the, uh, the searching for the tools and started searching for his coat. Okay, and that time he started bullying others who Uncle Porcher. Doesn't anyone in the house know where my coat is? I never came across such a set of people all my life. Upon my word, I did it. So many of you and you can't find a coat that I took off not five minutes ago. Uncle Porcher said, so doesn't know anyone in this house where my coat is. And I never came such a set of people in all my life. What kind of people you are, you can't find out a 
code which I have just taken out five minutes ago, he started bullying others. Well, of all the, then he got up and found that he had been sitting on it. You can give up, he called up. I have found it myself. Might just as well ask the cat to find anything than expect you people to find it. So he was sitting and bullying others, right? And at the end he got up and found that he was sitting on the court. Okay, then he informed the people around him that, okay, you can give up. I have found it. Why? Because he was sitting on the, his court itself. How others can find it, right? And he said, I can't find such a kind of people in my entire life. When half an hour had been spent in tying up his finger and a new glass had been brought as well as the tools, the ladder, the stool and the candle, he had another go. So, it took half an hour to tie his finger. He had cut his finger, right? In the meantime, the broken uh, glass was also brought, brought all the tools, all the things, ladder, candle, everything was ready and he was ready to go for another one. The whole family, including the girl and the child woman, stood round in a semicircle ready to help. So the whole family, including the child woman, child woman is the one male. Okay, so all of them were ready. They were standing in a semicircle to help him. Okay, two people had to hold the stool. A third helped him on it and hold him there. So what happened? Two people had to hold the stool. Two people were holding the stool and the third one helped him stand on it and hold him there. Okay. Next, a fourth handed him a nail and the fourth one handed him a nail and the fifth passed him up the hammer and the fifth one given the hammer. He took hold of the nail and dropped it. Somehow he stood on the stool and what happened? The nail which was given to him, he dropped it. Then he said in an injured tone, now the nail is gone. Somehow he stood on the a stool and he uh, got the nail and he dropped it. Then he has gone down, said Uncle Porcher. We all had to go down on our knees and hunt for it while he stood on the chair and complained. I want to know, he said, if I am to be kept here all evening, the nail was found at last, but by that time he had lost the hammer. So, first he lost the nail and all the people around him started looking for the nails. Okay, then what happened? He was standing on the stool and again he was complaining. What to know? Okay, should I stand on the stool till evening? How long you are searching for a nail? He complained. And finally, the nail was found, but by that time, he lost the hammer. Where is the hammer? What did I do with the hammer? Great heavens, so many of you just hanging from here and you don't know what I did with the hammer. When the nail was, uh, nail got, what happened? He lost his hammer and he was asking, where is the hammer? And what did I do with the hammer? Even he didn't know what he had done with the hammer, where he had kept it. And he was saying that so many of you, you are hanging around here and you don't know where I have kept the hammer. What kind of person is it, right children? Then we found the hammer for him, but by then he had lost sight of the mark he had made on the wall where the nail was to go in. Each of us tried to help him, but to no avail. Somehow they found the hammer, but what happened? He had lost sight of the mark he had made on the wall. Where he had to fix the nail, he had made some mark on the wall. That also now not able to see. Each of us tried to help him, but of no use. He used a bit of string, trying to reach a point three inches beyond what was possible for him to reach. The string slipped and down he slid down to the piano. A really fine musical effect being produced by the suddenness with which his head and body struck all the notes at the same time. So what happened? He tried using a bit of string to reach the point three inches beyond what was possible.
114 to reach. He was not able to reach, you know, beyond 3 inches above. He tried to uh, use a string. Okay, then what happened? He was not able to reach, right, 3 inches above. Suddenly, the string slipped and he fell down on the piano. What happened then? A really fine musical effect was produced with the sudden fall of uh, Uncle Porter on the piano. After almost an hour, Uncle Porter got the spot fixed again. He put the point of the nail on it with his left hand and took the hammer in his right hand. Then with the first blow, he smashed his thumb and dropped the hammer on somebody's toes. After half an hour, somehow Uncle Porter got the spot fixed again where to hang the picture, where to put the nail. Okay. And he put the point of the nail in his left hand and he took the hammer in his right hand. And what he did with the first blow, what happened? He smashed his thumb and he dropped the hammer on someone's toes. Aunt Maria heaved a sigh and said, Next time, I want to be told when Uncle Porter is going to drive a nail into the wall. I'll go and spend a week with my mother while it's being done. So, Uncle Aunt Maria became so angry and she said, Okay, just time, I just want to be told when Uncle Porter is going to do something, just let me know. I'll go to my mother's house and stay there until he finishes job. It's a small work, right? Trivial job, but how much commotion he is making to do that. So Aunt Maria became angry. Oh, you woman, you make such a fuss over everything, Uncle Porter said. I like doing a little job like this. So Uncle Porter said, you just make such a fuss over everything, unnecessary uh, scoldings you are doing. I like doing a small job like this, Uncle Porter said. Around midnight, the picture was up. Very crude and insecure and everybody was tired and miserable except Uncle Porter. So when Uncle Porter was able to hang the picture around midnight, okay, the picture was up somehow then at midnight. And how the picture was? It was crude and insecure. The picture was not hung in a straight way. It was crude, okay. It was not straight and it was not secured also. And everybody at home was so tired except Uncle Porter because all the others were doing the work for him, right? He was simply standing so others were all tired till midnight he took just to have a picture on the wall. There you are, he said, stepping heavily off the stool on to the charwoman's corns and surveying the mess he had made with pride. Why some people would have paid a man to do a little thing like that? So he was so happy. There you are. Somehow finally I have fixed. Saying that he stepped heavily on the charwoman's corns. He has, he has just kept, you know, uh, corns down, corn floor down. He just uh, stepped on that heavily. And what happened if you step on the corn floor heavily? There will be a mess, right? And uh, he made it a mess then. Then even if he made a mess, he is saying with pride that why some people would have paid a man, man to do a little thing like that. Why we should call someone to do like this small job? Did he did a lot? No, right? He took the help of all the family members at home. And at the end he was saying why we should call someone else to hang a picture. Okay? So this lesson, how the uh, Uncle Porter was, he just said, funny man, but good for nothing, right? He was not able to do a trivial job by himself. He took the help of others to do that, okay? So this is taken from Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome, okay? Now, we will mark the keywords and we will move on to the key exercises, okay? Okay, children, take page number... 29. First keyword is commotion. Underline commotion. Next, bullied. Next, charwoman. Next, avail. Next, string. 
suddenness heave next croup miserable and last one survey all of you underline these keywords okay next we will move on to the tb exercises first main choose the correct option angul porger needed a stool to climb up sit down paint keep things on it he needed a stool to climb up so put a tick in the first box who was sent to bring the spirit level mr goggles tom tim the char woman answer is tim put a tick angul porger cut himself with the hammer glass rule ladder and the answer is glass next angul porger fell on the floor picture piano bed where the angul porger fell on the piano put a tick here who was upset with all the commotion aunt maria angul porger to char woman answer is aunt maria next main vocabulary here are some unfamiliar words match them with their meaning okay first one is mythology mythology means traditional belief so right here one next botany it's a scientific study of plants endor have as a natural quality right here number 3 next flora means the plants of a particular area right here number 4 next pondered means to think seriously right here number 5 ethnology means study of different groups of people right here number 6 next zoologist one who studies about animals so right here number 7 last one geology geology is study of earth right here number 8 so all of you write this without mistakes in your textbook next some indian words have come to be accepted in english your teacher will say some of these words aloud listen carefully to their pronunciation and match them with their meanings um some words are given and meanings are here we have to match them with their meanings okay to the words given here first one almira and the meaning is almira means a wardrobe so mark here number 1 next size means a groom for a horse right here number 2 next sahib means sahib means a sir or a sir or a gentleman mark here number 3 next topi means topi means a hat so mark here number 4 next kauri kauri means a kind of shell once used as money so right here number 5 varanda varanda means a terrace in front of or on the side of a building so right here number 6 next bangla bangla means a single story house so mark here number 7 next tug tug means a crook or a cut throat so mark here number 8 next number 9 raja raja means a prince or king so mark here number 9 a prince or king number 9 last one pandit pandit means a learned man so mark number 10 here next main say these words aloud appointed needed muttered revealed the ed in appointed and needed is pronounced id appointed appoint and needed next 
the ed in muttered and revealed is pronounced d only d muttered revealed only d is pronounced okay now group these words according to the final sound id or d okay started you have to write in this two columns okay words ending in id as in needed words ending d as in muttered okay started started at right so you will write here created that also will come here refused that will come here this column right refused here next returned returned also here only d pronounced here okay borrowed borrowed that also here only d pronouncing bow that also here next cheated will come it cheated it padded here painted here next handle will come in this column okay so you have to write like this in the textbook next creative writing we all have different qualities read the list of qualities given below obedient enthusiastic systematic cautious diligent inquisitive considerate tactful and courteous here write one word from the above list to describe each type of behavior here we have to here some uh, descriptions are given here we have to choose the one word okay for each type of behavior first one tries his best not to upset anyone it is called as considerate so right here considerate next show lots of eagerness that is enthusiastic right here enthusiastic next doing what one is told to do that is obedient right doing what one is told to do is obedient next tries to find details about everything that is inquisitive okay tries to find details about everything is inquisitive works very hard is diligent right diligent diligent means works very hard next is careful careful is cautious right cautious next ready to give freely is courteous ready to give freely courteous does his work in a planned way is systematic next is polite and respectful is tactful tactful means is polite and respectful so all of you write these words without mistakes in your textbooks okay children and read the lesson thoroughly and learn the keywords thank you